Hi, you guys. Uh, just quick, I don't know if this angle is great or not, but I'm gonna try it. First of all, I didn't have hydro when I got home and reminded me how grateful I am for hydro and how much I can't do without it. So I had ground beef out, I wanted to make burgers. Just in keeping with the versatility, uh, I saw someone made burgers with the Donair seasoning, so I'm gonna do that. And again, don't think what it's meant for is all you can use it for. So I'm gonna dump, I'm gonna dump the whole package in, and I've got an egg in there, and about a pound of ground beef. Um, so I'm gonna mix that together. I've got some fillings, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the burger press. This may be kind of messy for a minute here. Um, so the burger press this month comes in the burger collection where you get the good burgers, the mustard, uh, the quickles. I'm wondering if you get the skewers too. It's a really good deal. Really good deal. Okay. So I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit and see how this goes. I didn't put any breadcrumbs in it. Okay, sorry. Hang on, I'm gonna wash my hands. Wash my hands. Burger press, looks like this. So, comes apart. This is the bottom piece and the disc comes right out. Uh, the slider is in the top piece. And the slider looks like that. So I'll show you how to do that as well. And then there's a plunger in the middle of this, just twist it off to make an indent for stuffed, okay? So in here, I've got the donair, the ground beef, and an egg. So I'm going to, don't overfill it. It's tempting to overfill it, but don't overfill it. Uh, the colder the meat, the better. I've done ground turkey and that kind of stuff, uh, but it's sticky. It's harder to work with for sure, because it's sticky. So I've just lined the bottom of the press like that. And I'm gonna take the plunger piece and just push it down like that. It's sticky. So it's just made a little well. And I'm going to do a little bit of spinach and a little bit of goat cheese in there. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of the meat on top to kind of seal it. that okay so that's what that looks like and I'll screw this cap back on to make it a smooth um, top on the burger and just really press like that so then you'll just slide the cap off flip it over and then just take the disc off that's actually a really big patty but that's what that looks like so if your people like store-bought it looks a whole lot like store-bought and then the slider is same idea but smaller version you can't do stuffed just smaller and it'll give you that nice uniform size I've seen slider buns at Hanson's too which is fun like that and same idea flip and take the disc off and then you have little baby little baby sliders so that's it for now that's all i got bye